All right, guys. So today we are going to work on head stands. Okay. So <clears throat> head stands are strength and balance. Okay. Strengthen your core. Strengthen your upper body by pushing on the floor. Okay. And trying to balance on your head, squeezing your legs so they're not flopping around. Okay. So on the head stand, first thing that you want to work on. Okay, is the tripod okay and when you do headstands or a tripod basically you're making a triangle between your head and your hands okay and then on the tripod you're just resting your knees on your elbows okay so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna have you can have two lines right on the floor if you want okay or if you have square big square tiles Okay, you can use that too. You could put your hands on the corners closest to your legs and then your head on the top side of the square. Okay, or your head on the line and then your hands on the line that's closest to your legs. Okay, so <clears throat> put your hands close to your legs on the line. Try to put your head far away as your hands as you can. You're gonna try and go on the top of your head, close to your forehead. You don't want to go in the back of it because that'll round out your shoulders and your neck. You won't be able to hold a straight line. Okay, so head on the ground. Okay, see how my knees are already touching my elbows? All I'm gonna do is just lift up. Okay, and try to hold it. If you have to, you can tap on the ground. Right, so you don't want to do this, otherwise you're going to fall over. You want to be able to see your hands the whole time. Okay, so if your hands are over here, you can't see them. You want to be able to see your hands the whole time. Okay, next, <clears throat> you're going to want to try and hold that. First, you're going to want to try and hold that for at least 10 seconds. Do that about five times. Try to get your balance. Okay. Try to know where you're supposed to be at, where on your head, okay? Pushing into the ground, okay? So if you put your hands on the ground like this with your elbows bent, and I had someone try to lift up your hands, you wouldn't be able to because you're pushing whole into the ground, okay? And next, okay, is trying to have one knee and elbow together and one leg up in the air. Okay, and what you can do is you can actually turn around, okay, with your, it would be once you're up your belly against or facing the wall, okay, and that way you can use the wall if you have to, okay, for balance. So I'm going to turn around. So I'm going to have my hands on the line, my head out in front so you can see the triangle. Okay, and then I'm gonna, again, start on the straddle, my knees on my elbows, and I'm gonna put one foot in the air. You wanna try and do it like this, but if you have to, you can use the wall as bounce. Okay, and then you wanna switch, okay? Switch, try to make sure you get both legs, one at a time, in the air. Okay, and then come down and relax, okay? You wanna try and have, try and hold one leg in the air for 10 seconds, okay? And then switch, okay? Try to do that three times each side if you can, okay? And then next is <clears throat> trying to do both legs, okay, in the air. Again, you can face the wall with your belly against the wall or you can do it with your back against the wall on this one, right? So like we did with the handstands, if you kick up and you fall over, you can push back up against the wall, okay? If you try it the other way with your belly against the wall, you can just tap the wall and try to balance, okay? And you can do it both ways. You can try it a couple times one way and a couple times the other way. So I'm gonna show both ways. That way you guys know kind of what I'm looking at and what you should look for and what you're trying to do, okay? So we'll try to do with their back against the wall first. 
Start and straddle. Hands on the line, head out, make the triangle. Make sure you're looking at your hands. Okay, try to lift your legs all the way up together. If I fall, put one leg on, bounce back, both legs on, bounce back. Okay, try to have your toes closer to your hands on that side. You don't want them behind your body. Okay, otherwise it's gonna fall over. Okay, you can have them on top, but maybe a little bit in front of you, okay? And then, we're gonna try it the other way. So, straddle, make sure you get that triangle, look at your hands, start on your knees if you have to, and just lift up, okay? And then you can push off the wall. Kind of hold it. Good. Okay. All right. Let's see if I have anything else. <clears throat> then the only thing left to do would be to try it without doing anything. Okay, without using the wall, without doing one leg at a time. Try to lift your legs up. Now, if you can't press, what they call is a press, and lifting your legs up slowly, you can jump, okay? That makes it a little harder to try and hold it, but if you're using the wall as assistance, okay, you can try to jump and try to kick off the wall and try to find that balance. So I'm gonna show one freestanding, out using the wall. So, start in the straddle, hands down on the line, make sure you're making that triangle without touching my arms. I'm gonna try and lift my legs up slow so my feet are together, and I try to hold, okay? And if you're good, you can straddle, touch your legs, and then push back up, okay? And that, my friends, is a headstand, okay? Try to work on that, try to work on that balance, try to work on this, squeezing the core, squeezing your legs, pushing your arms into the ground, you gotta squeeze everything, because if you're loose, you're just gonna wobble all around okay same thing with a handstand okay so great job and 